and that's my hearing when I was 11 years old from mum. I don't have any natural hearing in either ear now. When I first went deaf, I lost about 50% straight away, and then the rest of it slowly disappeared until I was 36. Then from 36 until I had my implant when I was 44, I didn't have any hearing. I felt very isolated, very lonely, sad, miserable, and locked away in a world of my own. I had won a nursing bursary and I lost that when I had my medical test for it. They found out how deaf I was. And I was really shattered about that and quite lost for a while because I didn't know what I wanted to do. When I became a mother, yes, that was quite difficult because I couldn't hear my babies crying from another room. So I tended to keep them with me in the room where I was working. I first heard about the cochlear implant. Um, well, I read about it actually. It was in the Adelaide Advertiser that they were starting to set up a clinic here in Flinders Medical Centre. And that was in 1985. And I had my implant in April 1986. It all happened very quickly. I honestly thought I would be deaf for the rest of my life. And after I had my implant, I always remember Marie coming home, knocking on the door, and I heard it and I answered it. And there was this little face shining, a bright eyes. I said, oh, Mum, you heard me. You come and open the door. It was a huge change in my life. I felt like I was just starting my life again, you know. <laughs> there were so many opportunities there to go out and talk to people, tell them how good this implant was. It's something I couldn't have dreamt of doing before. And writing a book was a huge experience for me. I hadn't thought of doing anything like that before. There has been huge changes to my sound processes. My first one was a big bulky one. We had to wear contraption uh, on and <laughs> hooked over our ears, a piece of wire. I loved that process because it gave me healing. And from this big bulky first one, I've now got a small slim line behind the ear one with a, a remote, which I've never had a remote before. And lots of programs and all kinds of options that I'm still exploring. And sound and speech is much clearer. For the first time for me, the background noise is reduced, which is a huge benefit. With my latest processor, the music is wonderful and I'm listening to Graham's Beatles Seekers record. If I hadn't have had my implant, uh, I just can't imagine how lonely, how lonely I would have been. Locked up in my own silent world, um, life would have been so hard and I think I would have been really miserable. <laughs> The greatest gift my implant has given me is to be able to easily converse with my family and to be able to hear my grandchildren's voices and also to hear environmental sounds, rain on the roof, birds, thunder, I love thunder, <laughs> and even my footsteps. It is a big decision to have, go ahead and have the implant, cochlear implant and you can feel nervous beforehand, but I'd say go for it because it really alters your life and it gives you the world of sound back again and you know, it's all good. <laughs>